I, I really started fighting judo when I was very young, and I was pretty good in judo in Brazil. I was national champion, state champion. I tried to get onto the Olympic team. I came very close to being on one of the best Brazilian Olympic teams ever who got three medals. And then later on, I, I'm American-Brazilian, and when I came to the States, a lot of the guys that started MMA are people that I know from Brazil that I used to train judo with. And one of the guys that I became very good friends with was Marco Ruiz, who was one of the first UFC champions. And he asked me for help. And then I was at Rodrigo Nogueira's first fight, and he asked me for help. And then I started helping one guy and helped another guy. And then I was at uh, ATT before it was ATT. And I was the first manager at ATT. So it's something that I can't really explain. It just happened to me. You know, I, a lot of people want to be managers. This does not, didn't happen to me. It just happened like, just, just happened. I, I have a unique way of looking at fighting because I've had my, my own dreams as an athlete, both in judo and in motocross. I wanted to, to go to the Olympics in judo and I, I wanted to be one of the top racers in motocross. And so I know what it is for an athlete to have a dream and I respect that. I think that the difference between me and other managers is that I was an athlete and I understand many other aspects both of the athletic side, about the business side, about the human side, which nobody looks. It's not just about percentages and money, it's about human beings. And I think that I, I get that a lot more than other managers that I see out there do. There are two things that I think an athlete needs to be able to be a champion. He has to have talent and he has to have discipline. Sometimes more important than talent is discipline. Talent without discipline does not go nowhere. I've had amazing fighters that have just dropped out because they didn't have the discipline to keep up with it. Well, I've had other fighters that sometimes were not as talented, but were extremely hardworking and disciplined. So when you look at a fighter, it, it's, it, there's a lot of instinct that goes into it too. You need to see what he's doing, how he fights, how he carries himself, how his mental side is, you know. It, it's a very complex question that you ask. You, nobody has ever asked me that before. Well, first of all, I, I do not, at this point in my career where I've been doing this for 22 years and I've been successful and I've, I've built a lot of careers from the day one to the day they stopped fighting, I, I, I do not need to look for fighters. They come and look for me. And then I try to help everybody that's in my reach, you know, because I know how important, I know it's people's lives. When somebody comes and asks me to manage them, I know that they're giving me the best part of their lives. So I take this in account. Now, sometimes it doesn't matter to me if the fighter is going to be a great fighter. What matters to me is to be able to help them achieve whatever they can achieve. I've been very fortunate to have uh, Edson Barbosa and John Lineker and Renato Moicano and so many big names that were not big names in the beginning. And, and since I've experienced as an athlete, I can also tell which of them are more worthy of putting a lot of work in than the other. But it's very important to understand that even the one that might not be a champ, it's still his life and his career. And you cannot not take that into account. If not, you're not doing a good job because if you have 100 fighters not all of those 100 fighters are going to be champions but each one of those 100 fighters deserves a chance and you must do the best you can do for each one of them regardless if they big names or not so it's your goal to have an impact on your world and to be helpful yeah i i i, I take the human part into account i want to touch guys lives i want to help them get as far as they can some will be champions and some might not, but that doesn't matter. You must help them get as far as they can. In my judo career, I didn't have anybody like me. And if I would have had somebody, sometimes small, small questions, small details can make a huge difference at the end of the day. And my goal is to be able to give them that my guidance, my experience, use my experience as an athlete to be able to help them achieve whatever they are to achieve.